Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me for another week. Um, happy Sunday. I hope last week was a good week for you guys. I had another interesting week at work. I learned some new skills at work and I had uh, some new tasks added to my uh, repertoire, if you would say that. If you celebrate Easter, I hope your Easter Sunday last week was nice and peaceful and full of joy and love. Initially, I was planning to do a kind of split page, one side for just Usagi and the other side for Little Mini Moon, but uh, considering the color scheme of the stickers that I had on hand, I decided to go with just a, a full spread of just like Mini Moon and her little bits and pieces, even though the scepter I end up putting on the left hand side does not really reside with her, but it's fine. It matches the color scheme and I think that's my main goal here. As my hand-drawn bit for this page, I thought it would be really cute to add a Luna Pea Ball, the little ball that uh, Minnie Moon brings with her from the future, which I thought was so cute, and I thought it would be a nice addition here. Since my Luna Pea Ball turned out to be much larger than I had expected, I wanted to shift these stickers around a little bit just to create a little more balance on the page visually. Um, I had such a hard time um, dealing with these symmetrical eyes. I am not good at symmetry. There's a reason why a lot of my drawings don't have a ton of symmetry, just because it really is hard to replicate the same eye twice. And I couldn't find my tracing paper to kind of fix this and to make it symmetrical. The ears came out okay for some reason, a uh, little fluke of life, but the eyes were just not happening. My brain was not able to translate what was in my head to the page enough to make it look symmetrical enough, but I think it came out okay. Here you'll see that I 100% oversaturated the page with this for Luna Pea Ball. She came out way too dark for my taste and way too dark for me to be able to even write over later on, like if I have more text to write, but it's all right. Everything will work out in its own way. Uh, hopefully next weekend I don't have a ton of things to write down. Um, and if I do, I'll probably just add on a sticky note from one of my cutesy little sticky sticky notepads. Um, just a friendly reminder that if you're watching this, uh, I would appreciate it if you liked and subscribed and shared with a friend. It would mean the world to me. The usual chicky update. Uh, Pearl still weighs four pounds two ounces. She hasn't gained another ounce, which mm, I'm not sure if I'm concerned or if this is like her new her normal weight. Um, I do intend to bring her to the vet uh, soon just to give her a little checkup. And uh, in true form, Opal is still broody and. She is moping around the yard when I lock her out, and I kind of feel bad for her, but at the same time, there's nothing I can do to change her, like, mindset, and there's nothing I can do to, like, help her, aside from keeping her kicked out. You'll see here that I accidentally made Luna P's eye pink and I tried to dab it out. Um, thankfully, uh, the next color I try to put over it does cover up the pink and it doesn't look like Luna P has like demon eyes, which is how I felt in this moment. 
everything did work out, thank goodness. Um, but yeah, the cheekies are good. And if everything goes well the rest of this year, um, I intend to add two more to the brood. Um, I'm really excited for that prospect and to order a new coop because our coop is way too small for more than two chickens, even though the Amazon, um, because I got the coop from Amazon. I know that was a mistake now. Um, but the Amazon listing for this coop said it was up to five chickens. I don't know what chickens are fitting in here that's up to five. They must be all Sarama chickens, which are really tiny. They weigh like maybe a pound or two, like smaller than Opal, which blows my mind. It's ridiculous, but everything else is good. In retrospect, I wish I had made the Luna Pea Ball like a pale purple to match the bars for each day of the week. Um, it is what it is at this point. I might cover it up in the future. I haven't decided. I might just leave it as is, as if, um, you know, you don't have to cover up every mistake you make or, and it's no sense in regretting it. It's just paper. It's just uh, watercolor. It's not a big deal and it can live there who knows you know I might I may never look back at this and that's okay too this week I'm continuing with my goal of six mile walks uh, six miles walked over the span of the week is what I mean and I hope that this week is better last week um, I wasn't feeling well um, I wasn't necessarily ill or anything but I just felt off most of the week, so I'm hoping this week will be more successful with that goal. I think outlining my drawing really helped kind of bring it to life and give it more definition, just because without that, the watercolor sometimes looks like just one big matte finish blob. I don't know why I feel this way. Um, but I think it turned out okay, and I think it helped give it a little more life, especially in the eyes. The blue outline that I did really, I think, added to the general effect. And um, I hope that you will join me again next time, next week, same time, same place. Um, I hope your week is great, and I hope that you are as productive as you hope to be. Just remember, rest is also productive. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye.